Hello again, this is Michael. Now we're going to create a lookup on our form response sheet so that we can figure out who the students are for which IDs we put in when we graded paper. In the last video, we attached the contacts right here using the e equals import range function. So we've got that done. We've got all of our contacts from our master contact sheet. And now on our form response sheet, we need to create some columns that allow us to import the information that we need to then generate feedback to parents and students. First of all, it's important that we understand what's on the sheet. Columns A through F are generated from the form. So when you grade a paper, every time you hit submit, you'll get a timestamp, the student ID will show up, and the grade for that student will appear here. So we're not going to mess with anything on these columns. These will be generated automatically as we grade papers. So we're going to go over here to column G. Now the information that I need to pull over from the contact sheet is any information that would be important for a message to parents and students. So we remember we refer to students formally with their first and last name, informally with their first name, and then of course we're going to email them and their parents. So here's the columns that I always use. I just do a column called name, and then I do a column called first name, and then I would have my email addresses, email 1, email 2, and then I call it S email, which is my student email. I'm always very consistent with how I do these labels. You can label these whatever you like. These tags here, these, these labels, ultimately are going to be used in Formule for you to figure out which column has emails. So they're not necessarily consequential what you name them. But I make mine simple, and I make mine the same, so that I can be fairly quick with how I construct my forms and my calculators. Um, that way you're not reinventing things as you go. So I'm very consistent. You can follow this guideline, or if you have something that you like better, you can do that. So first thing I'm going to do is figure out the name, the first and last name, for this person with this ID. The way I do that is I use a VLOOKUP formula. So VLOOKUP formula sounds pretty crazy. Some of you know how to use it, but if you don't, it's actually pretty simple. Basically, a VLOOKUP is looking up in a vertical column for something that you're looking up and then looking over a certain number of columns for information that would be associated with that data. Here's what I mean by that. I'm going to look up this number in the vertical column on my contact sheet here. So wherever that number is here, I'm going to look up that number, and wherever I find that number, I'm going to tell the Google Sheet to find the name associated with that, the first and last name associated with that. So one of the things that's important to remember when you use VLOOKUP is the syntax. This is column one. Wherever you're actually, wherever the data is that you're using to look up is column one. So my student ID numbers are in column A, so this will be column one. This will be two, three, four, five, six. So column six is where the information that I'm going to find from the student ID number is. So here's why that's important. Let's set up this VLOOKUP. So I go back to form responses, I go to name, and I type in this code inside of this cell. I type in equals V-L-O-O-K-U-P. And normally on Google Sheets, if you type it incorrectly, it'll give you a little gray bar. And, and I suppose that bar is helpful. I never click it. I just type the stuff in. So equals VLOOKUP, and then open parentheses. Okay, and then I need to click what I'm looking up. So I'm going to click B2. I'm going to click that, that ID number because I'm looking for that ID number. So B2 is what I'm looking up. Then I click comma. So I did equals V lookup, parentheses, B2 is what I'm looking for. Now I click comma. Now I'm going to identify where I'm looking. So I'm going to click on the contacts sheet right here. And I'm going to look anywhere between A and I'm going to go all the way to M. And the reason why I'm going from A to M is because A is where my student ID numbers are, and M is the last column in this range that has information. In this instance, this M has my student emails. So I did equals V lookup. B2 is what I'm looking up. B2 is from my form response sheet, comma, and then I clicked on my contacts sheet, and I'm looking in contacts A to M, A colon M, Okay, and now I'm going to hit comma. Now I'm going to tell the computer how many columns over to look. 
So I, I showed you that in my contact sheet, the first column, column A, where my data that I'm looking up is, is column 1, and then column 2, column 3, column 4, column 5, column 6 is where my first and last names are. So I'm going to go to my code, and I'm going to go comma 6. So now it says VLOOKUP B2, look in contacts between A and M, go 6 over, and then comma false. I'm not going to go into what false means, but it works. So then I'll go close parentheses. So one more time. Equals VLOOKUP, so I'm doing a vertical lookup, I'm looking for B2, I'm looking for this, comma, contacts A colon M, which means I'm looking in contacts between A and M. A is where I'm going to find this student ID number. I'm going to look over six columns. A is the first column. And then I just type in false and then the parentheses. And I'm going to hit enter. And it finds my name. There we are. There's my name. Good. So I've got this and now this is set up. So now every subsequent person, when I enter grades, theoretically, it'll look up their name. I have to set up copy down first for it to actually work, but this formula will work for any student ID that's over here. Good. Now, I need formulas for my first name, my email one, my email two, and my student email. You can write the formulas and do the same process that we just did. Here's an easier way. Okay. I click back on here and then it shows my formula in the formula bar. So every single student ID is going to be in column B. So I want this formula to always look at column B. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click right here. I click right on B2, okay? And I'm going to click the F4 button on my computer. When I do that, it gets dollar signs. Now, if I leave it like this, a dollar sign means only look at B and only look at 2, or in this case, only look at B2. Well, I don't want it to only look at B2 because when I enter new information, I'll have something on B3 and B4 and B5. So I'm going to click F4 again. Now it says only look on, well, look on B, dollar sign 2. What this means is B can change, but 2 will stay the same. I don't want that either because I want it to go to 3, to 4, to 5, to 6. So I'll click F4 again, and now it says dollar sign B, which means only look on B, but let the 2 change. So what this is going to do is when this goes, when this formula copies down to 3, the B will stay the same. So it'll be always looking at B, but it can look on different rows, okay? So I set this up right, so it's going to say dollar sign B2, comma, contacts, and then I'm going to click again between A through M. There's my cursor. I'm going to click F4 again. And so what this is going to do is always look between A and M. And I'm going to leave this just like this because for every one of my lookups for first name, email, email, and student email, I want all of these to always look between this range, A to M. So then I'm going to hit Enter. So basically, everything's the same here, but when I copy and paste this, so I'm going to do Control-C, and then move over here and Control-V, and then I'm going to go over here and Control-V, and over here and Control-V, and over here and Control-V, and so it looks like I've just copied and pasted the same thing, and I have. For every one of these, it's looking at the same place. It's looking at B2, it's looking between A and M on the contact sheet, and it's looking 6 over. All I need to change now to find this other information is this number, because... The first name is 7 over. The email is, I believe, 8 over. And this email is 9 over. Here's what I mean. Remember, this is 1. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7 is the first name. 8 is email 1. 9 is email 2. And then 10, 11, 12, 13, in, in my case, 13, is a student email. So all I have to change are these numbers. So I go back to my form response sheet. So I'm in my first name. I want to find the first name. So instead of a 6, I want this to say 7. Put that in Enter. Oh, look, it shows Michael. So now I go over to the email. I want this to say 8. It's just going to look 8 over. I click 8, Enter, and then it finds that email. And on this one here, I want it to say 9. I want it to look 9 over, Enter. And then the student email, on my sheet, it's over a little bit because I was doing different things. And this is 13 over, so... There we go. So now I have all of the information that I need. So this information, now my student ID will be looked up using a VLOOKUP in my contact sheet, and I'll be able to figure out the student's full name, their first name, their email 1, email 2, and email 3. 
Now, this won't necessarily work yet for all of these columns because I haven't set up copy down yet. That'll be the next step. But before I set up copy down, I want to make sure that I have all of the formulas that are going to exist in my second column. I need to make sure that they're all there. So what we've done so far is we've set up VLOOKUP so that we can figure out the name of whoever is in the student ID column.